Hey, what's up, guys? It's the final round, and my name is Jordan. I went back and forth and back and forth on whether I should uh, do this video or not. Um, I couldn't talk at all this morning, uh, but my voice came back a little bit, uh, so I have the microphone right up to me. So hopefully you guys can hear me. If you're new to the channel, this is a, a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. Uh, so if you want to talk about the lines, there's a Discord with a link in the, the description. Um, you can join the Discord and there's talks going on all day about the lines. And also, I don't charge for these picks. I don't want to charge for these picks. Um, I don't think you should pay for something that you don't know if it's going to work yet or not. Um, it's like buying a remote control car from a garage sale and you get home and it, it, it doesn't work and you didn't try it out uh, at the garage sale so um, if you'd like to donate if you do well and you'd like to give back um, there's a cash app and Venmo in the description it's fine around 11 and also if you don't have those there's a, a thanks a super thanks button on YouTube but they take 30% and if you want to try a different alternative uh, to prize picks, um, there's a uh, jock market. I did a video on that where you trade players during the day like it is the stock market. Someone mentioned to me that it maybe they're scamming me and they're just getting free publicity, but they are paying me uh, per referral um, as I build up referrals. If I get enough, then they'll sponsor me in the future. So um, if you do uh, download the app and you get referrals yourself, they pay $50. Uh, a referral uh, to your account and they're good people they just randomly sent me an email saying that they wanted to put twenty dollars into my account so they just gave me twenty dollars uh, for free um, they're definitely doing everything they can to uh, build up uh, more people because they're uh, quite new uh, to this space so if you can like the video um, subscribe if you have not and for if you have a little bit of extra time and you want to put a comment uh, in the comment section for the algorithm someone had a great special word uh, yesterday um, they said community put in the word community um, because yeah, this this has been a great community you no know, everyone's getting along especially in the discord and everything and uh, it's not toxic and uh, we're, we all just want to help each other out and make some money so I have five picks for today. I apologize for giving so uh, little picks. I know you guys are used to getting uh, seven, eight, nine. I've done 16 before, but I, I really just uh, needed, I was in bed all day and I just needed to rest. Uh, so I have five picks for you guys and, and I hope you guys like them. Please forgive me for only five picks. The first pick, I like John ja Morant up against the Lakers. The Lakers give up the second most points and the seventh most assist and the second most fantasy points to the point guard position. And John Morant played the Lakers three times last year. He scored 40 points in two out of those three games. And over his last five games, he has 29 points and seven assists. So I definitely like his points and assists since the Lakers give up the second most points and the seventh most assists. Uh, my second pick, I'm going back to the well. We got to keep playing this guy until he uh, disappoints us. Nick Claxton. Uh, for the Nets, he has a, a great matchup against the Jazz in the center position. The Jazz give up the most points, the fifth most rebounds, the sixth most assists, the fifth most steals, and the second most fantasy points to the center position. Uh, so this is definitely another game where um, you can go fantasy points with Claxton because he gets so many blocks. We'll see where his points line comes out at. Um, he's averaging uh, 12 and a half points, uh, 10 and a half rebounds and four blocks over his last five games uh, so if his points are around 12 and a half you could go there because they are giving up the most points to the center position uh, but definitely uh, fantasy points for for Nick Claxton he's been hitting that uh, very well lately my third pick this guy really surprised me last game with his points and rebounds he hit his points and rebounds prop in the first half uh, Lou Dort up against the Kings uh, the Kings give up the second most points the fourth most rebounds the fifth most assist, the sixth most steals, and the most fantasy points uh, to the small forward position. And Lou Dort has 14 points, five and a half rebounds, and two assists over his last five games. So we'll see where they put his, his points and rebounds at. Um, if it's around the, the 14 point range and, and the rebounds are around the five uh, and a half range, um, I definitely think this is a good time for uh, for PRA, for Lou Dort in this matchup. My fourth pick, we got to go back to the well with this guy again. Uh, Julius Randle up against the Hawks. The Hawks give up the second most rebounds, the ninth most points, and the second most fantasy points to the power forward position. And Randle over his last six games is averaging 15 and a half rebounds. So definitely that rebound prop 
I, it was 12 and a half last time. Uh, we'll see where they put it. But with the Hawks giving up the second most rebounds to that position, this is definitely a great spot for that. Where you can do, you could go points and rebounds because they give up the ninth most points, and he does uh, score very well. So I'm liking points and rebounds for Julius Randle. Or if his rebounds prop doesn't get too high, if it comes out like 14 and a half, then we maybe have to think hard about it. But uh, um, I definitely like his his rebounds if it's sitting around 12 and a half again. And my fifth pick, this guy's been a, a surprise um, with Tyrese Halliburton out. Um, I like TJ McConnell up against the Nuggets. The Nuggets give up the third most points, the most assist, and the fifth most fantasy points to the point guard position. And TJ McConnell over his last five games has 16 points, eight assists, and five and a half rebounds. Uh, so we'll see where the, his lines come out at, but I definitely like uh, points and assists for TJ McConnell. Um, he is getting five and a half rebounds, so if his PRA um, is just like a four rebound bump, then maybe go PRA uh, if you like that. Uh, but definitely points and assists for TJ McConnell. So that is my five picks for January 20th. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Um, I'm really sorry it's only five picks, but uh, I'm just doing my best, and I felt like I had to get something out there for you guys. Um, once my voice came back, I was like, yeah, I got to do this. I didn't want to just put a message out there and say, hey, I can't do this when uh, I knew it was going to be possible. I'm, I have 101 fever right at the moment, so hopefully it gets better, and um, uh, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, thank you for all your prayers. Uh, I do feel better, and my wife is feeling better, so um, God bless you all. I'll catch you guys on the next one. It's the final round, and my name is Jordan. Bye.